Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This is how to put DVDs onto your iPod, PSP, or whatever. I'm not lying. This is exactly how to do it, but it's only for Macintosh. First of all, I'm going to do the movie Cloverfield, because I like it. Then you're going to... You know what? I'll just switch to the video of the screen. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Safari... Go to apple.com, which is already at, and type in this. Screen them. You're going to go to downloads and click on the first one, and then download the code. Okay, I'll be right. Once you download it and open it up, you will come with a little box that says da "Try down Demo Version," or with a you can put in a code and it says "Register." Put this in. This is the code that you put in to make it on Tiger and Leopard. Um, once you have that logged in, um, you're going to put in your DVD, which I have Cloverfield. And basically, you're just going to hang on. Um, you should do the full screen and then put in your DVD. And once your DVD is in, you're going to record the DVD in full screen without moving your mouse with the volume on high so that you can so that the little box doesn't come up and you don't have to worry about it's too loud or it's too quiet just keep it on high the whole time and then whenever it's done you just stop recording it and then you're going to put it into iTunes it takes a while to download or if you want to edit some you have to go to iMovie and it takes about 30 but actually an hour to put down onto an iMovie DVD so it takes a while if you move it onto editing if you don't edit it it takes about as long as the movie takes to put it on your iPod plus about five minutes to put it onto your iPod and that is exactly how to put it um, DVD onto your iPod thank you and please subscribe to my account Hulk Force 103 and add me as a friend